Hey everybody, it's Risley. Today I'm finally getting a chance to play Potionomics, a game that I've been following on social media for quite a while because the animation style is something that really appeals to me. It's pretty unique, I think, for an indie game. Anyway, I've been looking forward to this, and let's have a play! My dearest Sylvia, greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I hope that one day, you'll be able to see it. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven, the Witch Queen, fell in battle. Her unsanctified experiments made this land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love, your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money, your uncle Oswald. Oh, love to your mother. I thought this was our mom, and I'm like, mom says, dad, you still owe me money? Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit. Unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage? Anyway, keep at it! It warms my heart to think that you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia. Don't let this be the end of my shop. My dream. Welcome to Rafta. Or come to Rafta. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. You can do it. Even though he literally just said my potion smelled like rotten cabbages. Dearly departed, Oswald. Sylvia, please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. For the terms of Oswald's will, Oswald's will, that's a little hard to say. You are the lawful recipient, recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and the unusual history, such as inheritance, must be claimed in person, or else it will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Oh, here she is, our little cutie. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. <laughs> oh, that's, this is just Stardew Valley. It's just the Stardew startup. Alright, we got spiders. This bag looks like differently rendered from the rest of the room. I'm interested to see if that's something we can interact with. Okay, this place is not all I had hoped for. Of course, my uncle died, and I was really hopeful he'd leave me something cool, so honestly, kind of jank of you, uncle. Go and die, and you didn't even, like, make a cool thing first. But this could still work. I can make work with this. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw on the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to have the opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm Helen. You're Sylvia, right? You have some business to discuss, but first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Thanks! But I don't really know him that well. He kept sending me letters, and I was like, who is this? And my mom was like, I literally don't know. I'm not even sure he's my uncle. All the same, it's a pity. Particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What, really? I don't know that's how that works. Pretty sure it's not how it works. But I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I have- Wow, she's very accepting. Like, she's just like, yeah, okay, mysterious lady. No need to prove that you're, like, actually related to my theoretical uncle or anything like that. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? What? I take it you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But... That's so much gold! You could build five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it, to judge by the appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look over it. The fine print is... Very fine. What did you just do? I invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oddwall's property and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time and this shop is yours. 
default on the loan, however, and you will forfeit the property. You will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time that we deem your debt repaid. That sounds... bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here, I'll get you started. Sell me this potion so I can be your first patron. Okay, yeah, so this card, uh, this game is card-based, which is something that I am really into. Because, honestly, I'm not the best at games that are, like, uh, based on aiming or anything like that. Attempt to raise your interest in the potion. Flail in your attempts to raise your interest in the potion. Blunder your way through an attempt to raise your interest in the potion. Mm. But it's good that I have options. Wait, you knew that. Okay, flail a little harder. That's pretty good. Yeah, 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 you like it. I mean, look, it's like, it's, uh, it's got the green bits. You know? Like, it's like cheese. You know, the moldier it is, the tastier. Stress- oh, was I supposed to do something? Oh, crap. Panic. Blank out. Despair. Oh, I guess I've only got- <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's extremely hard. Was I supposed to be physically capable of sending that? I am too stressed to function. Well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full ten days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I gonna do? Ah, shit! No, that is not a voice that I want to do. Huh? Hello! Ow, my hip! Oh, I mean, hoot hoot! I heard that, you... You can talk? Well... Well, of course I can talk. You must be new here. This is Rafta, where the strange is commonplace and the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. In my rafters? I live here, actually. And you can call it living. Eating scraps. Hiding in the shadows. You live here in the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh... Did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was, uh, just so embarrassed to admit how... integral I was to his shop. Okay. Is this Uncle Oswald? <laughs> I don't remember whether he was wearing this whole hat in any of those pictures that it showed, but, uh... And yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Owl. Owl. Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway. Owl. It's nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, no, no! You don't want to do that! I saw what happened. That lawyer's soul-binding means she'll be able to track you to the end of the globe. Missing a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. I feel like this is just the, uh, the game developers kind of channeling your intro into the games. There's no way I can make enough money selling potions. You yourself told me that my potion smelled like stinky cabbage and I just had a panic attack when that lady tried to buy it one that I didn't even make. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 years. Uh, 50 years! Over the next 50 days, a series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head and in tournaments of art artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. Man, this owl has a broken arm. You see, the initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. My first payment is... I thought this was the entire- oh, 10,000 total winning prize. I guess if you win all 10 of them, then you get that much? If something you have to make a few specific potions in advance, those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition and you'll automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at the juicy grand prize! Win all five competitions and you'll have the money you need to get the debt collector off your back for good. And then, you can join some more competitions to make a little bit more money to make a new super potion that will turn me back into your uncle. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. He doesn't even know how good I am at, at even making potions. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. 
Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl, we're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics. Yes, they said the name. They said it. Oh boy. Upgrading your shop floor plan will help you sell more potions. A potion a day keeps the healer away. A new study has highlighted the benefit of daily health potion used in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. Start day one. I see you cleaned up the place a bit. Nicely done. Okay, so... Oh, it's, it keeps going. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Okay, so what I was gonna say is one thing about this game is A, the animations, very special. They've got that cinematic sort of like little emotive thing, which is very fun. It's the kind of thing that I think it would be really fun to animate myself if I ever got a chance. Secondly, it's got this really interesting combination of like 2D and 3D going on in this little scene. Like I can see my little character is kind of like a little 2D bit bopper and these little guests are, but the rest of the scene seems to be 3D and like hand painted textures and stuff like that. It's really cute. Anyway, I guess we're gonna start brewing. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. How did you know my uncle left this place? Bum bum. I assume you know your way around a cauldron? You went to school for this, after all. I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. Okay, I was kind of joking, but... If they don't give an explanation for why this owl, like, knows anything about me, then I... It, you know, was my uncle wearing this green thing? Is he dressed exactly the same? Is this meant to be obvious? Uh, that's what's one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they let me brew the advanced stuff. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours on the cauldron. Well, you've certainly got your hours starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. I better get my notes from college, just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimims. Magiminims. Ah, yes. The mighty magimin... Magimin. Magimimin. Where would we be without that? Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find magims. Magical creatures, magical, mystical plants, even the rocks of the supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the magimins contained within it thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion-specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magums. I realize it's not magums, I'm just gonna call it that, it's a lot easier for me to say. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magums they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magums is out of whack, the resulting potion will be much less valuable. Sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, step one. Gotta put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions, and I have the recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green, because they are based on happy Christmas memories from childhood. Everyone knows this. Some fey berries and mandrake root should do the trick. One of this guy. Don't scream too loud. One of this guy. Alright. Oh, two of each? This crap's expensive. That's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. Alright, nothing left to do here but let it cook. Am I supposed to back out of this now? Hopefully that is what I was supposed to do, or I just wasted my starter stuff. Your potion should be ready this afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. There were just potions laying around the shop. How long has my uncle been dead? I didn't even get to read what he said just then. Thank you. It's arranged in potions. The old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them would be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf for now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open the shop. 
Aw, I thought- I thought this was like a little hole in the board and they were gonna let me like- like test tube it right in there, it was gonna be so cute. Good, now when customers come in they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have effect on the potion's value. Everyone knows that kids like the stuff that's smaller, lower down, and more colorful. And adults like the stuff that's really high, because it lets them prove that they're tall and they can reach it, and that makes them feel manly as so-and-so. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Okay. We're finally ready to open the store. Uh, this store looks like frickin' junk. From the inside, it looked like it was abandoned. So I don't know how many people are gonna want to walk in here. <laughs> okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will, it has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling! The art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each person. For each person! You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they pay. But keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Ah, here comes one. Oh, he just torpedoed behind the desk. You got this. Peppy Commodore. Co Peppy Commodore. Good morning, good morning. Let's get this day started. That looks pretty great, if the price is right. Do I have a timer? I assume I do not have a time. Set him up. Raise interest by four. Apply, set him up. Raise interest by seven. Gain two shield. Brace yourself. Reel him in. All right, let's set it up. This one's a real winner here. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have retention, let's reel them in. Eight interest. I see what you're getting at. That's all I have for now. I've got to brace myself for their turn. I gotta physically take out a shield to express the fact that I have social anxiety. Alright. It's 20% plus 20%. I'm making it more expensive than it's worth. It feels like a weird strategy to make it- to not have any sort of base price if everything's just like purely negotiation. I guess I can finish up the deal. Close it out. I am not allowed to not close it out. Take it or leave it. I'm starting to feel it, yeah. I can't wait to try it, yeet. Have a nice say. Uh, one thing that's really cute in animation is they always say that you gotta focus on the hands and the hand positions and things like that. Which means that, uh, they like doing the idea of pretty hands. And one of the things that I always like doing is combining the, uh, the two middle fingers and put them kind of close to each other. Sort of similar how she's doing down here. That's a pretty hand. Ooh, animation. For the win. Step right up. Hello. This place is shaping up nicely. I don't think I did any cleaning, so that's very kind of you to say. I can feel the magic coming off this one. Raise four with an opener. Set him up. Oh, how much do I have? Ten? He's warming up to him. Reel him in. Set him up. If opener applies, set him up. This card has an ability which will activate only if it is played first. Increases interest. Okay, so I can't even do that one now. I'll just say it's cool. And uh, let's end that turn. Oh no, I think I left my kiln on. Uh-oh, they got one foot out the door. Okay. Reel them in, draw one card. Brace yourself. I don't know how to tell if they're into it. I guess this uh, customer is going to increase Sylvia's stress. Increase by four? You're pretty good at this. Alright, so even if he's like kind of iffy about it, I can still just be like, ah, it's close. I have 13 hands. I guess I'll draw a card. Uh, that's- that's just more. Draw one another. Increase by- If the customer patient hits zero, the customer will leave without buying the potion. Okay, so I can't even play this right now. I just have to, uh, let's just close it up. Take it or leave it. You're the best. Thanks, come again. Next in line. I waved at you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. How much is this one? It's probably more than I want to spend. Okay, baby. Let's take it nice and gentle. This one's got a little sadness in him. Oh, dang. He, like, instantly was more gloomy. 
Oh, I already set it up. I guess I'll just end my turn then, actually. I think I went into the wrong business. I can't run under my skin. Well, I've only got three potions, so I, I'm sure you could probably find a better store than me, honestly, anyway. Reel them in. Maybe it's not too bad. Shield him. Can I just shield him once? And end this turn. Honestly, I, I don't know what the best strategy I need to get back to my shop and jack up all my prices. Oh no, shit! <laughs> oh no! Please! As usual, the working class gets no respect. Okay. To be fair, I thought the two defense, I, I wasn't sure what I was protecting, but I did not assume he was gonna get full impatience on one turn. Ah! That's all of them for now. It didn't go so badly. That's all of them. Yep, I sold two of three. Winner. Thank you.